This is Cybert signing into the 2021 Kane's Wrath Championship Series Bronze Match. This is the decider for third place in the North as the Yellow Nod. Give it up for Drive. And in the South as the Green also Nod. Give it up for Eclipse. Welcome to the bronze match. Once again, kicking it on Tournament Odyssey. The less prestigious match for sure, but if you ignore that this is the third place match in a tournament, that both of these guys have already lost out of the finals, this is just a sick series. I mean, we've got Eclipse and Drive for a best of nine. Now, I wasn't there on the day, but in the rules, it says the bronze match is the best of nine. That's not how things always turn out on the day. Sometimes when it's the third place match and people have been playing for many hours already, it's like, hey, can we change this to a best of seven? So I'm going to say it's a best of nine right now, but as the series progresses, we shall see if this turns into a best of seven or if it is indeed a best of nine. We shall see how things go. I know in Red Alert 3, we've done that a number of times. You know, we get into like hour eight or ten of a tournament and the guys in third place are like hey do we really have to play like a best of nine or a best of seven can we play a shorter series and it's like yeah if you both agree to it did that happen here i have no idea but we'll find out best of nines are great ways to see how a series turns out eclipse normally playing or drive normally playing green but in this case eclipse is playing green He's going to get the first couple of shots on this Harvester. Drive pulls the Harvester back, cycles it around the War Factory for those repairs. A minor delay to the economy of Drive, but not necessarily a big deal. Eclipse poking out with a couple of more bikes, and two militant squads from Drive get a pretty good read on what Eclipse is doing. He knows it's not an MCV cell, but he knows that the pressure is still coming. And as I say that, the bikes from Eclipse actually turn back around, and the pressure lets off just a little bit here. But of course, in this situation, you don't want to overcommit to your economy at your third base. If the other guy does, does double war factory and is faking you out with this MCV placement, then you want to be aware of it. There's the refinery going down for Eclipse and for Drive as well. It's freaking me out that Drive is yellow and Eclipse is actually the green nod player. Bikes coming through for Eclipse, taking a couple of shots at those militants. And of course, these bikes are going to try and find some kind of damage in an opening. We'll have to see if Drive actually lets that happen. He's been doing a pretty good job cycling his harvesters around and keeping his defenses up. Well, Eclipse pokes in, loses a bike for it, gets off one shot against a harvester, which was already pretty high health, so it didn't really do anything. Additional power plants coming down. Second War Factory is up and running. The other thing that we sometimes see in uh, longer series late in a tournament for like uh, best of or best of seven or best of nine is sometimes one player when it's like hour eight of a tournament will just all in every game. I'm glad that we are not seeing that here, at least here in map number one of this series. Things are fairly standard. Second War Factory is up and running for Eclipse, and I assume Drive... Oh, actually, Drive goes into the second refinery before his second War Factory at his natural expansion. He did briefly draft a couple of rocket squads just to act as that defensive buffer. One transferring Harvester almost gets grabbed by the forces of Eclipse, but Drive does ward that off, at least for the current moment, and into an Ops Center all before his second war factory so going a little bit more into the eco a little bit more into the tech before committing to that second war factory the bikes are much better numbers on the side of eclipse he's gonna dodge in here and maybe even grab this harvester he needs to cycle that guy around to the other side of the war factory but it doesn't matter eclipse goes there for the kill anyways drive is going to be getting the kill on at least a couple of these bikes but if he loses another harvester that is not going to be feeling good for drive dropping down another laser truck trying desperately Desperately to keep that harvester alive, but it's not enough. Eclipse finally found the opening that he was looking for. He finally found the opportunity that he was seeking. Gonna go in here with a hallucinated army. 
or a uh, hologram army and get, get just a bit more scouting done. He could have a tier three on the way, so the Tib Chemical Plant might not be that far behind. And that hologram finally gets eliminated. Great split on the refineries from both players. That should be outside of the Tib Catalyst missile range as a couple of uh, battle markers exploding all over the map. Mostly infantry transferring through Tiberium. It's actually into the Secret Shrine for Drive, so he's going to be going for those infantry upgrades. As you can see, he's continuing to pump more and more rocket squads out of that barracks on the north side of his natural expansion. Tip Chemical Plant may be the thing queued up for Eclipse. There it is. Moves his MCV, so he is heading over to a third base location. He's going to need a bit better of a scout to uh, because of that stealth uh, generator. He's going to need a bit better of a scout to get a good hit on one of these refineries. The disruption tower doing a good job of uh, keeping an eye on things. And he may just go based on his previous placement, where he thought it was. And he gets it close enough. Nails the refinery with that catalyst missile. Another laser turret goes down at the back of the main base for drive. At the same time, I believe Eclipse is... Oh, no, his MCV just moved to the far side of the field. He didn't actually go for a proper third base. He's instead going to be looking to draft a couple of shredder turrets and maybe some additional defenses to try and hold off this army of drive. Eclipse coming back in with his bike buggy forces. One buggy doing the, uh, doing the old search. I don't think there's a tier 3 or a chemical plant out for drive, so I don't think that buggy was actually going for a scout for a uh, one-click. He was just indeed going for a scout, or he got a little bit misrallied. Venom's coming in, taking a couple of shots from those bikes, and it looks like it's going to be Scorpion Tanks versus Rocket Squads. The Venom's going to be trying to assist their Scorpion Tank brethren, and Laser Capacitor's about 80% of the way done, so these Venoms are going to die before Laser Capacitor's actually takes effect. And uh, the Shredder Turret will hold off the rest of those Rocket Squads. Flame Tank's coming out on both sides. I believe we saw Flame Tank on the side of Drive, and we just saw one on the south side of Eclipse as well. Either way, at least there's a Flame Tank on the side of Eclipse. We know that for sure. Laser Capacitors finishes up. Venoms running around the map with their Scorpion Tank buddies. There is going to be Drive's Flame Tank. Doesn't really get too much done. Gets eliminated by Eclipse before Drive can really get any real value for it. Uh, Miss Rallied Scorpion Tank, it looks like. I don't know what that guy was doing. His plan was, uh, was a little bit unsure. Laser capacitors on both sides as the third bases are going to be coming up momentarily for both players. Rocket Squad's getting a couple of shots off on these Scorpion tanks. And uh, Drive may have a little bit too much pressure on this right side. This is more Scorpion tanks than he's got over here. Although Eclipse could just go for the tip spike. We'll see exactly what Eclipse has planned. Eclipse has been really loving this Venom-Scorpion tank combo. He loved it against Green Zero, and there it mostly served him well. Ultimately, not quite well enough to win the series, but for the most part, he did pretty good with the Scorpion tank-Venom combo. Shutting down the power plants, a great move here by Eclipse. Able to cut down the production of Drive, cut down the base defenses of Drive, and try and get an advantage in that case. This is, uh, this is maybe snowballing a bit more than Eclipse was necessarily expecting. Drive finally shows up with a bunch of bikes to try and clear out these Venoms. More power plants going down, but these Scorpion tanks might just zap those power plants down. On the left side of the map, Drive moving in with a big group of infantry. There's a decent number of buggies waiting for them, ready to tango with these forces. Stealth Field or Shredder Turrets could be coming down in the defense. There's actually the sell-off, and he's going to be dropping a Tib Vapor Bomb on top of the Infantry Army, annihilating so, so much of it. The Venom's getting cleaned up at least partially by the forces of Drive, but the Scorpion Tanks remain unanswered, and Drive 
Oh my gosh, he has missed out on an opportunity to kill off so many of these tanks. They're so low on health. But Eclipse barely manages to escape with still a good number of Scorpion tanks. Although, again, so many of them are just inches away from death. The sneezing the wrong way would be terrible. Bikes showing up for drive to act as the defense as these buggies come through with a couple of bikes of their own to go for a scout, I guess. That wasn't a whole lot of uh, potential damage. Disruption Tower comes down. Going to be giving stealth to all of these buildings. And the uh, refineries over at the third base of Eclipse are fully stocked with harvesters. So many additional harvesters there quickly harvesting away at that field. Drive feeling a bit upended, feeling a bit topsy-turvy, losing so much stuff to those, those scorpion tanks and never being able to clean them up. Eclipse has repaired most of those Scorps. He's back out on the field, and he's looking to dance. Does Drive know the correct steps to defeat his opponent? He drops Sam turrets in the face of these Scorpion tanks. He's more interested in keeping those Scorps off sight. And uh, the Redeemer coming in for somebody. I'm not actually sure where that guy came from. Over there at the base of Eclipse. So Eclipse has a Rage Gen in his back pocket. Ready to go if it comes down to it. Tier 3 finally going up for, I believe, the second time for Drive. And he is uh, actually, apparently Eclipse is going to back up. Drive kills off one Harvester. Not sure that that's a big win, as the majority of the Tiberium harvesting has already been done at that field. And Eclipse going to be sewing this game up tightly, if he can, utilizing that Tib Spike destroy of the Black Hand. Could I have phrased that more clearly? Absolutely not. That was the only way to say that. Black Hand members could actually burn down both of those Tib Spikes, which would be just a nice little benefit there. One Avatar, they're great. Everyone loves a good Avatar, but... I mean, against this many Scorpion tanks, this many Venoms, and a Redeemer most likely marching its way across the map, it's a hard ask to try and get anything out on the map against this kind of an army. Drive is absolutely up against it. He's got his own Redeemer on the way. He's going to try for his own Rage Gen, I'm guessing. A couple of bikes actually swinging around on the right side of the map. Now, this won't do a whole lot for the next minute or so, but on the resupply, as as these armies clash and these guys are looking to remax, that's when that loss of harvesters may actually come into effect. But the answer is no, because the bikes get scared away by the rocket squads. And now, all things being equal, I certainly like Eclipse's chances more. But... The, the Redeemer is out. The Obelisks are here. And we'll see. I mean, Defender's Advantage is a powerful thing. Can Eclipse make it happen against all of the forces of Drive? Let's see. This Redeemer taking a lot of damage. Rage Gen fires off, but of course everyone's already been given a kill command, and that was a curious move by Eclipse rushing in. But now the Scorpion tanks are going to be going for the crush. The Avatars are surrounded, but there's Obelisks and Avatars on the side of Drive. And he's standing strong against the forces of Eclipse. That Redeemer disappearing and reappearing as it's getting zapped down by those Scorpion tanks. Venoms, they're kind of unanswered, but there's also not a lot left on the ground for Eclipse. He walked into that base without much of a plan, and... Uh, he got punished for it pretty bad. Eclipse has been defeated. Drive takes game number one. And I guess when you send in your Redeemer to just die for no reason, and uh, your whole attack plan is go right where the enemy is strongest and uh, do it in a weird way, then no, <laughs> that does not work out for Eclipse at all. Eclipse ahead in the economy, but it didn't really matter. They were pretty tight over the course of that game. Only 4,000 credits of difference between them over 14 minutes. So not much of a difference at all between these two players. And yeah, you got to hand it to Drive. He literally just had to sit back and absorb one attack from Eclipse at the end there, and he won the game. Eclipse unable to close it out.
but I don't think that'll be the same for the rest of this series, so let's see what happens in game number two. Which takes us to Tournament Dust Bowl. No poker for game number two in the north as the yellow nod. This is Drive. And in the south as the green also nod. This is Eclipse. I felt pretty good about Eclipse for about 80% of that game. And uh, really just that last attack is where I didn't have confidence in Eclipse. Drive really winning out just right there at the end. And I guess, you know, that's how it happens sometimes. Eclipse's map choice, so we'll see if he has anything planned for this map. I guess Drive could also be the one mixing it up. Wouldn't be surprised if we see near nod mirror matchups all game long. Wah, wah. Ah, he notices. He sees. Drive gets it eventually. That's interesting. What are you, what are you doing there? And uh, real quickly, let's just see what exactly does Drive see. There's the Reckoner. It actually pulls back just from the Militants, and it looks like Drive may not suspect anything. This may have gotten completely away from Drive. Now, he does see the bike coming on out, and he does see the lack of a second refinery, so he knows that much. He knows, hey, you should have a second refinery, and hey, why are you building bikes? But... Let's see how Drive handles it. Last time, his defense is what won him the game, but this time I think Eclipse has a better plan, or at least a plan that is less known to Drive. In the last one, Drive knew exactly what was coming his way, exactly when, where, and from which angle. In this case, he's a little bit unprepared. Let's see if he can pull it off. The new bikes are distracting Drive on the right side. Meanwhile, the Reckoner shows up right in the middle. He's going to deploy right next to the War Factory, right next to the Refinery. And this is as good as it could have gone for Eclipse. So this is pretty much maximum damage. Now, four bikes turn around. Where's the support from Drive? There's the barracks. It's a little bit late. It's too late for the War Factory. He gets the War Factory. And now the Refinery is going to be the next target. Going for the far Refinery. The Engineer has to drive the longest. And there's the Raider biking for the snipe. A perfect execution by Eclipse in a lot of tournament games. This sort of build does not work, but this is maximum damage, maximum utility coming out here for Eclipse. Even the laser turret coming down. There's the eject at the last second. The Harvesters trying to go for the crush on these Black Hand members, but this has done so much damage. It would have been game over if it got that last War of Fighter. And never mind, he gets it. What can drive? do he can sell off and drive has been defeated game number one 15 minutes drawn out we see epic units we get to third bases game number two three minutes and a half eclipse pulls it back with that one and i feel like a reckoner rush ending the game is something i have not seen in so so long most of the time the reckoner does a little bit of damage mm -hmm. Maybe it gets a war factory or a refinery, but mostly it just disrupts your opponent. It has been a long time since I've seen a Reckoner rush, especially just one Reckoner, two Black Hand squads, do that much damage. Absolutely great there by Eclipse. The, the Maybe the cherry on top was the bikes drawing Drive's attention to the right and south, and those two things allowing Eclipse to get in there with that Reckoner. What a great execution by Eclipse. Let's see what happens in game number three. And that takes us back to the beautiful glow of Tournament Highlands. Gosh, we have seen this map almost as much as Tournament Odyssey in this tournament. Word tournament in every single sentence just about. On the left side, as the yellow nod, trying to shake off that last loss, this is Drive and celebrating his quick victory, his evening up of the score on the right as the green also nod. This is Eclipse. 
blocking out the sun from drive in that last game. Always frustrating to get knocked down by a cheese or something that you just barely don't see coming. And it's like, man, if that militant squad gets just a little bit further, Drive sees that coming. His scout is that much more prepared. And he at least knows that it's an option. I think it wasn't on Drive's mind. I think Drive thought that the bikes were the only thing, that Eclipse had gone like eight bikes or something like that. And that's why his refinery was so delayed because of the big commitment into bikes. But man, Eclipse just drawing out those forces of... Wait a second, another Operation Center. All right, let's keep our eye on this one. It gets spotted immediately, Drive sees it, and Eclipse sees that Drive sees it. So it's actually gonna be a flame tank right out of the gate. The Black Hand Squad turns around, burns it down. I didn't check the build cues to know it's actually a double war factory. And let's check the vision of Drive real quickly here. He does see the double war factory and the MCV cell. The uh, the vision does lapse for or does remain for a little while before it disappears. So I think Eclipse is fully betting that Drive knows all of this information. I love the inclusion of just a single flame tank. We'll see if it works out. Either way, we're going to be going into game number four most likely very soon. I guess this could be one of those ones where it starts out with a rush, both players MCV cell, and then it just goes absolutely crazy from there. Scorpion tanks are going to be the defensive unit of choice, and of oh, Clips just calls it. I was going to say the, the Scorpion tanks are a good choice, but they're a great choice because apparently Eclipse says night-night to himself and just jumps off a cliff here in game number three. One rush going phenomenally well, and the other rush spotted almost at the earliest possible point. I think Drive's militant squad was like right there when the operation center went down. So Drive got basically the best read he possibly could have. Goodbye, Tournament Highlands. That is the last time we will see it in this series. Let's jump into game number four, which takes us to the beautiful glow of Tournament Badlands. If you don't look carefully, this looks almost exactly like Tournament Highlands. So maybe I lied just by a little bit when I said we're not seeing Tournament Highlands anymore. But these are different maps. So let's introduce this guy on the left side as the yellow, as the nod, up 2-1 in the score. This is Drive. On the right side as the green, also as the... What is this? Uh, this is <laughs> Eclipse. Oh, baby. All right. Whoa. Okay. So, so not even one refinery. I mean, yeah, he's going to have the Tib Spike, but like not even one refinery. Would this? Okay. This is actually a two Tib Spike map. So you've got that going for you. You got two Tib Spikes worth of money. When does Drive see this? Right about now is when he's going to be getting eyes on that. And he sees the Engineer, which is a weird place for an Engineer to be. And Drive now knows that something is up. What exactly is... Oh my gosh, what an incredible strat coming out from Eclipse. Anyone who was not excited to see the bronze match should be ashamed of themselves. What an opportunity for Eclipse to pull something out. He's going to be going for the power plants. And what does Drive even do in this situation? He's not going Shredder Turrets. He went for a second refinery. And he's now going to try and shoot a power plant with Shadow Teams, which I don't even know if that works. He's going to be going for the crush. He's going to be going for the shredder turret as well. Nice crush on one. Ugh. You need to get every single member. Otherwise, they can still bomb the buildings. There's the shredder turrets going down, and this is the kind of thing you got to try and do. The sell-off of one power plant, but the other power plant goes down. No, it survives. It survives by just a hair on its chinny-chin-chin, chin, and now comes in another bombing. But, of course, this the longer this goes on, the more and more it benefits drive. That might be it. Yeah, Eclipse has been defeated. He killed himself. What an incredible strat to see attempted. I would love to see that kind of thing refined a little bit more. I don't know if there actually is anything to refine. It might literally be that's a bad build, and it only works if your opponent is, like, significantly worse than you. Man, look at that income difference by drive. So that's what it looks like when you've got a Tib Spike just cranking. 
And, uh, well, I guess you get 1325 over the course of two minutes and a half if your uh, Eclipse grabbing those, or 2650, if your uh, Eclipse grabbing those tip spikes at that point. That'll do it for game whatever this is. Let's jump into the next one, which takes us to Tournament Tower in the north on the left as the green. This is Eclipse. Currently trailing 1-3 in the map score. And on the right side, as the yellow nod, this is Drive. So Eclipse, he has been... Uh, okay, well, is he... It's, is it literally the same thing again? It looks like it is. Okay. Let's see. Now, this is a one-tip spike map. So, I mean, it is a two-tip spike map. Maybe he's going to get both tip spikes. I think that's probably unlikely, especially if Drive Garrison's, yeah, one of these buildings. But it's possible. Um, I don't know, man. Eclipse kind of feels like he's wanting to end these games quickly uh, either way. But maybe it'll turn out. One bike coming out for Drive and a Shredder turret up immediately. Eclipse has kind of been found out. The nice thing about, uh, never mind. So that's that. Game one was awesome. Game two was awesome. Three was cool. Uh, kind of falling apart <laughs> as uh, Drive takes another point. Uh, maybe Eclipse can pull it out in the end. I mean, I get it. But at the same time, Eclipse would have a much better shot of winning this game. Anyways, that's done for that one. Let's jump into the next one. Which takes us to Tournament Arena. What a classic map to see in the north. Playing the green nod. This is Eclipse. And in the south as the yellow also nod. This is Drive. Tournament Arena, I would have loved to see one of these guys play Scrin and pull a little bit of a bike rush move. Send, uh, there we go. Uh, third time's the charm or something like that, but we got so many shadow teams coming out here for Eclipse, and uh, I would have loved to see someone play Scrin, do the kill the blue Tiberium crystals thing. It's just funny to see... I don't know if it's actually a good idea, but it's just it's just funny to see. No bunker grab, so this is going to be the best chance that oh, he's keeping. He's got a shredder turret already. He just powered it down. He's going to drop another power plant. All right, so you got to come in at an angle and try and hit one of the power plants, right? Uh, never mind. Eclipse is basically saying if you build anything other than a harvester first, I lose. So. What a what a way to peter out a series as Drive takes it with a score of 5-1. A couple of free wins there given by Eclipse to Drive. And, uh, oh, well. Eclipse takes home $75. Drive takes home $100. And that concludes that section of the bracket from my perspective. Uh, most people will probably just watch the finals. They won't watch the bronze match. But I still have to cast the finals, and then everything will start to upload. So thank you all very much for watching. A disappointing end, but a great start to a series. Really, 1, 2, and 3, those games were great to watch. Anyways, that'll do it for this game. Or 1, 2, 3, 4? Yeah, we're great to watch. Anyways, that'll do it for this game. Thank you all very much for watching this series. And this is Cybert, signing out.